curious now how they're going to play on their T side. By no means does there have to be a correlation between these two halves. It could as well just be that they're not going to be quite as good. And we know SK could really, really put up a solid defense if they win that pistol. So let's we'll see how this all plays out. I don't want to count anybody out here. Neo, who made the jump up himself, which is always good. We talked about movement. Yes. Displaying some there. And for th this is going to be so deadly. Again, they have no idea he's here. Pasha's going to go down. Yeah, this is for free. Great aggressiveness from Fur. What is the response? Because Cold Zera is ready to come out, and Neo's all on his own. He has to basically take care of both of these choke points unless he falls back. There's the fight against Fur, but he can't win it. Couldn't find the one he wanted. Now Bialy's all alone. SK trying to get their third round before halftime, and they're going to. And Fur so ready. The flashbang is pretty good, but Cold Zera will follow it up. And there's a headshot as well. 13, oh sorry, 12 to 3 here at the end. Fur 